Okay, so here we are, and yesterday the news is that open beta of 205 is coming. In case the open 2 beta comes, 205. If this one comes, you gotta revert in case some of your mods are not working or the converter is not working. Of course, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll up get you updated on all of this news, and you don't need to worry about it. But in case you don't want to subscribe to my channel, it's okay, just revert to the previous beta for everything to work so here we have uh, a new video and in this video i'm going to do this i'm going to create a game a save game with extended mode made by team Viz. and it's my playset. i'm going to put this enable this and then just put it on top date to the new date is a simple thing then it really helps me to track time because i'm not very familiar with the roman sort of calendar and i'm going to use extended mode i have these dlcs and uh going to run this game i'm going to create a new game and i'm going to focus on europe what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to convert this game into ck2 and ck3 both and when i convert this game to ck2 and ck3 i'm going to let them run side by side so the conversion of these two games are apparent it's the first time someone is going to do this on youtube so please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and support my work i really appreciate it and also thanks to paradox game converters they have a patreon where they collect donations to further up these massive projects uh, which converts games of paradox into each other and I hope if you find this useful, if you are reconverting your games, I hope that you go and help them. I hope that you help the cause. In the future, I will be teaching you how to actually make these videos for yourself and create your own time lapses. I've noticed since I'm creating these videos, my channel really picked up. So it's a good topic and it's supported. It's a good, good thing to do, actually. Anyways... Uh, I'm going to observe and see how it's going to go. So you can see here we have the date here running pretty well with this. And I'm going to keep this map. Hopefully it all goes well. And let's increase the time. Let's go.
So now I plan to transfer this game into CK2 and CK3. Uh, there is a revolt in Roman Empire going on. Uh, we have Christianity around the area. So here we have Christianity uh, in Germany. We don't have it. Uh, we have Druidics are still hanging on, especially in the UK. Uh, Christianity also have spread into uh, where it historically have gone. Uh, here we have Kematic in the Arabia. There are some Arabian. So uh, here we have Hindu in India. It's the oldest religion still alive. We have Bon in Tibet. And looks good. Heptatic here. We have Ritualistic. And uh, this is the religion. Culture-wise, we have Romans in these areas that they conquered. Uh, Macedonian is here and not much of a Persians here. We have a lot of Armenians still around, but not much of a, a Median or Persian here at present. Again, again the Vanilla, the Dahe failed to form per Parthia here. Also, Rome has failed to take over his historic territories. And the Germans, I think they invaded. I will, some of them are here. If you check the cultures, we see that uh, actually the Gauls have invaded Germany, not the vice versa. So here we have a Getz. And yeah, that's about it. Population wise, we have this uh, map that the population looks like this. There's a lot of concentration in these areas and in Asia Minor, you could say, and Mesopotamia. Uh, Britain, not much. Spania and France are not going very well. Carthage is not doing very well though. We have Carthage here. So just take a look at the map and I'm going to transform this into two games and compare them in a while. So first of all, what we have to do, we are going to save this game, create a save file and then CK3 and we're going to save this. Uh, we're going to exit to desktop. We're going to go to Paradox Game Converter. We're going to get the CK2 as I don't have it. So going to the latest Cartagena, Cartaginian, Cartaginian. And we're going to get the source as a zip code. So ROM to CK2 is here. We're going to use the converter front end. And this is the nice front end that we have. So we have options. First, we're going to find our save game here, CK2, CK3, and options here. This is going to be set at the date of the save, and we're going to convert it. This may take some time. So here we have it at 109%. Uh, it's converted and now we're going to go to CK2 and these are the DLCs that I have bought uh, I don't have certain of these uh, lovely mods I really wish I had Sons of Abraham but don't have them and then we have these mods so we're going to untick this and then tick the newest mod and press play fingers crossed hopefully everything goes well so anyways here single player so we are going to new game and then choose this beautiful one. Going to the custom game setup and then let's see the map and see how it's going to look like here at the moment. So we have the countries, you can see the translation. Here we have this nicely, Iberia is nicely like this, a little bit like, you know, how it should look like. And who is this guy? So we have Carthage here, this area. We have Arev Arvernia. We have Ichini. Carthage is controlling these areas. So we have the Roman Kingdom revolt here. And Roman Kingdom is already translated into the game. Right? Uh, we have Syrian Empire. With the beautiful uh, flag of the <coughs> Seleucids here. I'm going to play as observer of course achievements are disabled so i'm going to press the button at the top left of my keyboard and write observe let it go 
and just have to choose the country flag get a good shot of the map put the religion and culture here okay and then check the religion first so we have uh, catholics here in this area we have orthodox here in this area we have nestorian in this area and we have sunni islam in this area which is nice i mean at least there's some kind of a islam here i'm happy to see i don't think they're going to survive uh but well maybe some mods could have helped uh this is 465 islam is coming out around eight, uh, 680 there's no islam at the moment on the map um unless our history is a lie and then we have tangri here and these are generated we have bon here in this area and then we have hinduism here jain here and in the in this area we have a lot of germanic which is sort of powerful druidic here we have this religion and then we have here germanic and they worship odin so anyways uh i give it a very good number for translating this map it's very good almost you know you would enjoy if you have uh, this conversion to this beautiful game a lot of crusades are going to go on in this crusader kings because you know i don't see that uh catholics are really really powerful here let's see who is this guy's religion he this guy is a hellenic pagan and i hope he loses to the catholic here anyways let's see the map and let's let it run and then translate it into eu4 and then see what's going to be the result of that translation and compare it to ck3 so this is going to be side by side going with ck2 now i'm going to go and uh, in the video show you a ck3 conversion but actually at the moment i'm going to record this one
So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please, if you support my work, if you play these games and you need the information, please subscribe to my channel. It gives me energy. Thank you so much for watching until this time and until the next one, my friends.